Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's New CNN. Do you ever wonder what Batman has in his utility belt? Ever wondered if he maybe added a little meow mix or catnip for a personal reason? But the idea of Batman's utility belt was actually introduced in Detective Comics 29 in 1930. Before it was even... um. Before that, it was just a regular belt, right? He had a grappling hook on it or maybe one or two things, but it was originally introduced by Garner Fox. And now that we're through the boring stuff, let's talk about what is actually in Batman's utility belt. The first item introduced in his belt were glass pellets. Glass pellets of choking gas. Yes. So besides that, what we have now, and if I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. But we have, of course, Batarangs. The Batarang is the Dark Knight's most recognizable gadget. And it was introduced actually in Detective Comics 31, one issue after the utility belt was introduced. We also have bolas, right? Batman's bolas are made up of composite nylon cords. They are strong, light, and flexible. The bullets make excellent neutralization weapons, kind of like the lasso, but a little updated. We also have a grappling hook. Batman's grappling device is made up of a high tensile cord that can attach to various surfaces. If you've ever played the Arkham games, you know the grappling hook inside it out as a claw like projectile that can be found on the end, right? So we also have the obvious smoke and gas pellets. When Batman wants to cause a distraction, he relies on gas pellets. Now, another huge thing we see used not that often, but is a really cool concept, is a rebreather. Batman often finds himself in situations where he has to go underwater. And that rebreather can actually last up to two and a half hours, which is pretty impressive. So... We also have impact mines and pellet grenades. We have Batman relying on the impact mines to destroy large vehicles or walls when necessary. They can also be placed on a timer, right? So he can make his great escape. We also have glue goblets. The glue, oh, the glue goblets. They're made of strong, sticky adhesive, and they are extensively and annoyingly used in Arkham City and Arkham Origins. One of the worst weapons, by the way. We also have napalm gel. This special incendiary gel is kept inside of small packets. When broken, open the gel, sticks to a surface, and sets it on, on fire. Pretty, pretty standard, you know, things that you need in your utility belt. So next we have Sonic Bat Beacon. Now this is um, basically what Batman used to help instill fear in his opponents. His bat beacon emits this sonic wave that can attract thousands of bats to his specific location. They swarm around him and, you know, promote his image as this supernatural creature. And it works. So besides that, we have a sonic disruptor. This device releases powerful sonic waves that can shatter glass and deliberate enemies. Batman's cowl features a built-in sonic dampening system to make sure he remains unaffected. Now, this one people might be a little surprised about, but I would say no. When it comes to Batman, I think it's pretty typical, and that is a kryptonite ring. And more recently, we have even seen kryptonite gum. Yeah, kryptonite gum. So, a kryptonite ring because, you know, Whenever Superman comes around, you just have to be ready or uh, I guess I guess so. So we also have night vision goggles. Now, those are more in his cowl, but they allow for Batman to see in the dark or dim lit areas. It also grants him the ability to view the infrared spectrum sonar. Now, this is used again in his mask to locate criminals. We also have tracers within that utility belt. They are bat-shaped even. Bat-shaped tracers. Okay. That can adhere to most, if not all, surfaces. Lockpicks. 
Batman uses these to obviously open locked doors, and they are used more often than you think. And I and I think um basically a bobby pin would do also in the same situation. So, anyways, bat cuffs because of course you have special cuffs that only a few enemies and heroes can break out of. Batman can quickly lock an enemy to a pole or deliver him to the police station. And yes, they are bat shaped, like everything Batman owns. Tasers. Now, Batman carries this um, to shock or neutralize an enemy, right? This weapon was often used in the Golden Age in movies. We even see it used with the kind of fisticuffs in Arkham Origin from the Electrocutioner, right? So, also brass knuckles. Of course, because Batman does not kill, that does not mean he doesn't brutally beat someone. First aid kit is used to obviously aid in treating wounds. Alfred, generally, when he was alive, would, would use this to tend to his, his master's wound. So, another thing is the forensic kit. Batman keeps two of these. One in his utility belt and the other in his vehicles. Obviously, for forensics at a crime scene. We also have a line launcher. Oh, the line launcher. Another one that we use a lot in the Arkham games. Basically, a stealth tool. Right to hide above your enemies and and check on your other gadgets before you pounce and it, and it's useful. Not saying it's not annoying, just saying it's useful. Anti venom because of course he has, you know, most antidotes. Now, my favorite, both shark repellent and female villain repellent. Now I know this goes back to the campy days of Adam West, but driving away sharks and driving away women. Because of comics. What other reason really is there? I absolutely love looking up all the different things for this video. I thought it was really interesting. There was a lot I did not include. And one simple one was like a crayon. Just in case you need to write something down. Not a pen. It's a crayon. Yeah, okay, Batman. Whatever you say. But there's some very interesting things that he keeps within there. Let me know what your guys' favorite are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.